Hey guys, Basic Builder back bringing you another episode of Newstall Village. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to be starting on a train station. Um, I thought it would be a really cool idea to see a train bridge going over kind of near the entrance of the park. Um, so yeah, that's what I decided to do. Um, as you can see in the last video where we built the park entrance, as you walk in, you'll see the train station to your left. Um, and I thought it would also be a, kind of a nice idea to have it run along the side of the mountain. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're doing here today. Um, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, and, uh, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And if you do enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's uh, talk about what's happening. So as you can see here, we are starting out um, just adding the pathway and, and the entrance walkway to the station. Um, I struggled quite a bit with how I wanted to go with this station. I got some concept art off of the Pinterest and uh, it just, it was a very difficult build as far as the station is concerned um, so you'll see in the video where I will actually kind of um, go away from the station a little bit and do a like a gift shop and uh, I wanted to build another tower just to add some height variation into the park um, and uh and then come back to the station um but i think the end result turned out really well so um you'll see some screenshots in the end um so yeah so here you can see we're adding that, that glass roof you know I, I really like the glass roof look at train stations but in this particular build it eventually did not work um and you'll see in the end results that that is not what's there so um but yeah so guys if you're ever looking for any kind of inspiration get on google get on pinterest wherever you can get either concept art or uh just uh, any kind of style of building that you're wanting to build look it up um it, it's me that's the that's where i get all my inspiration from i usually use pinterest and i'll pick up some uh put some keyword searches in and um I will uh, search for what kind of building style that I want and kind of go from there. So back to the video here, we are now, um, like I said, we're moving away. We're working on the tower. Um, and, um, you know, I wanted to um, add something a little bit different. Uh, again, this is going to be some custom roofing. Um, I think I got the hang of it now after the... Uh, last episode of trying to build the roof for that particular tower but um so yeah um i think it went uh, a whole lot smoother this time um so yeah um so if there are any questions though for you guys uh if y'all have any questions that you feel like you need to ask uh about how i do something in the game let me know I'll be more than glad to answer them or even show you in a video. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to bring you not only my creations, but to, to share my techniques in this game. I, I have been playing it for about four years now, or ever, basically since it released. Um, but I've just never published it on YouTube until now. So, um, so yeah. Um, and also guys, if you do enjoy it, uh, share the video, you know, um, I'm trying to grow my channel a little bit and, uh, sharing is, would, would greatly help it. Um, I've got some other avenues that I'm going down to, to get my content out there, uh, and to be active in the community. So, um, but sharing it would, would, uh, be very helpful as well. So. Uh, back to the video, you can see here now we are working on the tower. Uh, we are, for some reason, I, I don't know why I wasn't thinking, um, but 
I thought you could copy all these different buildings and just stack them on top of one another with the advanced tool move, but that was wrong. You can't do that. So, um, but here you can see we finally got the tower put in place. Um, and uh, now we're going to start working on, I think we did the Hats Fantastic gift shop here. Uh, really cool little build. Um, you know, using the the um, different camera methods in the game that are built in uh, helped a lot um, to be able to put the ceiling and all that kind of detail inside the shop. Um, this one, how this build does not have custom roofing. Thank goodness, um, custom roofing it's time consuming and it is a lot of piece counts. Um, but I think total in this park are sitting at only around like 10,000 pieces so far, so it's not too bad. Um, also, going back to the the train station, I actually um, have put the train tracks all the way around and connected them back to this station. So there's two other stations. Um, and I'm using that as the border of the park um, and to build inside that park so if you want to see that I'll, I'll show you that in the next episode just leave that comment down below um, but uh, yeah I, I kind of wanted to see and limit myself to what I can build inside a certain amount of area I guess you can call it um, so yeah uh, going back to the video here, we are adding some detail to these gable ends on this build. Um, I believe I just copied these all over. Yeah, uh, copy these all over. Um, and uh, yeah, just still going with that Bavarian style, Alpine style theme. Um, I know a lot of the builds have the same color stucco, but um, you know, I, I like that look it fits really well against the snow and um you know i plan on um putting more mountains in um especially against the the outside of the park and it can kind of be just like the park is basically down in like a valley um which i think would be really cool um i do want to get some buildings built up on the mountains to add a little bit of height variation um but um uh, so yeah uh still sticking here with that dark brown color uh red theme adding some windows with some shutters um i wish we had more windows with shutters in this game but you know who knows maybe that'll come in planet coaster 2 if we ever get that game um so you can see here now i'm working on the roof inside the hats fantastic shop um i think i only have one gift shop in this park so I wanted to bring more gift shops in um, but uh, yeah so um, here you can see I'm just doing some detailing on the shop um, and then uh, once we're done on the inside we'll move back to the outside add some foliage I believe some rock work and then uh, I finally get the inspiration to go back and work on the train station um and i think the end result turned out really well so um but guys i think that's all i've got to ramble about today um if you do enjoy the video please hit that like button i would greatly appreciate it um and subscribe if you haven't already um and share the the video with whoever else you think might enjoy it um i would i would greatly appreciate it and uh until then guys i will uh leave it here and we'll see you in the next video see you guys